Hey Google, set a timer for seven minutes. Okay, seven minutes, starting now. It's Saturday the 9th of May 2020. These are my weighing results for the week. I now weigh in on Friday because of the um, staying at home rules and everything, no groups. So we weigh on Friday, text our results to Naomi, who uploads them on a Saturday night, no, Friday night, sorry, and it becomes the Saturday group. So I weighed in yesterday morning, which was Friday the 8th of May, 7th anniversary of my dad's death. And thank God I didn't eat over it. But I weighed in yesterday morning and gained half a pound. That, I feel, was a more than fair result, shall we say, because I haven't been 100% on plan. Um, today, the 9th of May, it's five years today since I joined Slimming World and we've just been for a walk up the hills and I was saying to Jo, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous morning, I was saying to Jo, do you remember five years ago when you dropped me at the uh, local leisure centre and we met a lovely lady called Linda who went into group with me and I used to meet her every week and sit with her every week until I got used to the group. God, that does not seem like five years ago. So five years ago today, I weighed 13 stone, eight pounds. Today, I weighed 10 stone, four pounds. Now 10 stone, four pounds is not ideally where I want to be, but I feel better this morning thinking about the fact that A, I am still 46 pounds less than I was five years ago, and B, because this morning um, I've started to upload the small videos from the period that I haven't been um, vlogging, I've been making small videos for my own personal journal and then decided that I might as well upload them to fill in the gap. But actually looking at the first one, which was at the beginning of February, from the beginning of February until today I've gained five pounds. That makes me feel a hell of a lot better than I was feeling because when I made my video last week and I was talking about being over 10 stone, actually being 10 stone three and a half then, I felt like I'd gained two stone. I felt just like my head was out of control. But looking at it this, this morning, because I watched the first of those videos, I haven't watched them in the period I've been um, setting them to private. So I haven't watched them myself, so I'm watching them with anybody else who chooses to watch them. And realising that in 14 weeks I've gained five pounds, and that is through about, what, eight weeks of this pandemic business, I actually don't feel so disgusted and unhappy with myself. I think I've got to cut myself a bit of slack and say, OK, today is your fifth anniversary. Pick up the button again. Start again. Just start again. Don't forget the past, because I'm not going to forget or disregard the fact that to get to where I am today at 10 stone 4, I came from 22 stone. I'm not going to lose sight of that. I'm never going to like let my membership drop and, well, hopefully never going to let my membership drop and then rejoin so I lose my history. I've got it all written down anyway, and I've got these videos which started when I got to maintenance. But this time, I feel like, hey, just start again. You know, vlog about your losing journey rather than about your maintaining journey. So five years, I don't think, you know, for... Somebody who set off five years ago at 13 stone 8 with the intention of getting to 11 stone 11, which was my first goal, and then 10 10 and then 9 9 and then ultimately 9 stone. I've, I've, I've experienced all that. It's been a bloody good thing. But I don't think to say that five years later I'm still 3 stone 4 pounds less than I was when I joined. And actually at 10 stone 4, actually a stone and a half under my initial and target weight. There's no shame in that, and and I'm not, and I'm feeling uplifted by the numbers, and and I, and I'm feeling better in my head today about myself. I, I'm feeling like you can do this. You know, look at those figures. Look at that five-year period. Look at the whole period since you started this journey at 22 stone, and know that you are successful. You are not a failure. And sometimes it is about being kinder to ourselves, isn't it? Because I don't know about anybody watching this, but I do know about me. I am my own harshest critic. I am my own harshest judge. I don't need anybody to judge me. I can do it for myself. And, um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm glad that I've 
um, that Joe's uploaded a couple of videos this morning. There'll be more going up through the week. And if you're watching this one, this will be the second video to go up on Friday next. And tomorrow, which will be the 16th of May, I'll be back with a fresh start. So the results of my first week back on plan, let's see where it takes me. You know, um, I don't want to be a person who always aims for perfection. I just want to accept that doing the best I can do is the best I can do. Um, because when I aim for perfection and I, and I miss the mark, then I beat myself up, then I self-sabotage, then I feel like a failure. And I am very much an all or nothing person. I need to learn to live in the middle ground and I've probably been saying that for the last four years and I'm still learning and it's a lifelong journey and my uh, plan will always evolve. It's never going to be that I eat the same things week after week after week because that's not how I live. I'm, I'm open to learning about new foods and new experiences and new reasons and new challenges and new choices. That's what I want my channel to be about, you know, my journey on Slimming World. And I think for as many members as there are in Slimming World, there's just that many ways of working the plan. There is no one way to work this plan. Um, a hundred women or a hundred men could work this plan and get a hundred sets of excellent results by doing it a hundred different ways. And I'm not for copying anybody else's food plans. I'm not for watching what I eat in a day is because I know that I don't eat like most people eat on this plan. That's not to say I eat better than they do, it's just to say we have different tastes. And um, there's, a, there's a whole world out there and because of what we've been through in the last few weeks, I was saying to a dear friend Marcia about you know going back to normal and she sent me a, a saying which I'm not going to quote on here but you know normal wasn't working. What, what is my normal anyway? My normal is to overeat. I don't want to go back to that normal. Stop and I'll see you on Saturday the 16th of May. Bye.